Hey viewers, welcome back to At Our Modern Farmhouse with Cat and Pat. So on today's episode, we're going to take this vintage Budweiser bar sign that Kathy's parents gave to us, and we're going to convert this to LED. So currently this sign does not work. It's old. I did a little research, found out that it was built mid-50s, so 56 to 58, somewhere in there. Um, it's got a lot of old technology built into it. There's a fluorescent tube in here, kind of hard to find. All the components are kind of... You know, you might find them, you might not find them type of thing. So we're going to just gut this, get all that old technology out. We're going to go with some LED, kind of like we, what we did with the tub, if you saw that episode. Um, make this thing look brand new again. We're going to use this in our barn, our basement, when we get that finished. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start breaking this down, kind of show you why we're not going to use this technology anymore and go to LED. So we're not going to... I'm not going to use these chains. We're not going to hang this. So I'm going to go ahead and start by removing these chains from this uh, fixture here. This will sit up on a shelf that we're going to build in the bar. This actually has a switch on it too. So back in the day, uh, it's right over in here, it has a little pull switch. So you'd plug it into an outlet and you could turn it on by this pull switch. We're gonna eliminate this pull switch down here because I'm gonna do some switched outlets. So I'm gonna have some outlets that are gonna be powered up in the bar and we're gonna switch them from a switch on the wall. So all of our other beer signs will come on as well, all at the same time. So we'll get it all broken down, kind of show you what's inside of it. We'll get it all cleaned up. So like I said, this is, this is really old. Uh, 1956 is what I could find, but some people are saying maybe even a little older for this sign. It's got some pretty cool markings on it. It was built by a union company out of Indiana. see by this old two-prong cord that's on here it's pretty old it's been rotted out a little bit wires showing through it's really not safe anymore now we could put a new plug on it and the interior might work but then again this is powered off of a there's a ballast in here so this is what a t12 lamp looks like this is old technology this was it's been around for a long time they went from t12s to t8s to t5s to led now and so we're a lot of generations ago back when this technology was first brought out. So there's um, igniters in here and there's all kinds of other products in here that actually ignite this lamp, this gas inside of this lamp. So we're going to break all this down. It's pretty brittle. Get that lamp out of there. Pretty dusty too, you know. Obviously it hasn't been open for a long time. So what we'll have to end up doing is breaking this case open so we can get all of the old components out of here. So we'll start by taking these tombstones out of here. We'll get the wire unconnected. So we're gonna, just, basically everything in here is gonna be abandoned. We'll have to get this all cleaned up so our double-sided tape will stick to it. We'll get all the LED laid into place. that igniter out of there. It's a pretty cool idea if you've got an old bar, uh, bar sign like this that has this old technology on it, in it. Neat way to convert it over. If you still want to use it, it still looks good. It's in good shape like this one is. It's in really good condition. But, you know, it's just not that safe anymore. So, I'm going to put something in here that's going to make it reliable, up to date, clean, less energy of course too, you know, with LED you save a lot of energy with converting to LED. So yeah, this was a union made, there's a stamp right here. There's no dates on it, but you can see it, there's all these union made uh, markings all over it. Pretty neat. 
It's also one up here. There's also some labeling on the back of it. Wish there was some dating on it that said exactly when it was made, uh, but we do know that it's pretty old. I'm gonna try to not break the rivets. There are four rivets that hold this, this shield on right here to this back panel. I wanted to try to get this off without breaking those rivets because those rivets do come through the back and if you break them then we're going to have a couple holes on the back side of this Budweiser sign. So there's a couple here, you can't really see them, one here, one here, down here and here. So I'd like to try to get that out without busting those rivets off. These are going to be the two screws that are going to hold the ballast that's inside of here in place. tube wire actually like I said we're just abandoning all this cable so I can just cut all this off and get it out of the way fish those down through catch fire you never know what's going to happen with something this old so I'm going to move this out of the way I'm going to get it off of this, uh, this the front side so there is glass in here we're going to have to take some screws out of here screws out of the top this is a glass above that back and these are plastic so we'll break this all down we'll go get it cleaned up um, and then we'll show the process of uh, getting that all back together so that ballast is free. Slide it down. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to come out without me having to break those uh, rivets off. So let's see if we can snap them. Didn't want to do that, but. Might be in luck. That rivet stayed in the place. The shield didn't pop free. Okay. Okay. So we did get that out. It looks like the rivet did stay in place, which that's a good thing. So we don't have those holes in the back. So they did stay, so that's good. So what we'll end up doing is, I'll get these shields off or either bent down into place. We'll get this all cleaned up. Um, and then we'll come back on the installation process of the LED and the cleaning of it. And so we're gonna pause here, we're gonna get this all cleaned up and then we'll meet you back here in just a minute. See you guys. All right guys, we're back out here in the garage. Uh, what we've done is we broke down our uh, vintage Budweiser sign. Uh, we're converting it from a fluorescent to an LED. Uh, all the old components were pretty much roached. Uh, cables were fried, split in half. So instead of using that old technology, we're gonna go back with an LED. So we broke it all down. We have all of our letters. We, had, we did have a glass piece behind our front backer here that basically holds the letters in place. Um, so that also keeps the, uh, the letters from getting too hot from that old fluorescent uh, tube that was in there. Um, as you can see, some of those components are pretty old. Uh, it's a good thing that we're getting rid of them and, and converting this into an LED fixture. You know, we'll get another 50 years out of it. You know, like I said, this was built back in the 50s and uh, could even possibly be older than that from what I've researched. So, so what we'll start doing is we'll start getting um, the fixture put back together 
like I said, we're going to use an LED, so we're using these LED strips uh, to go back in and replace the uh, fluorescent that was in there. So what we're, what we're going to do is just kind of get them laid out in here where we're going to put them. We know that one's going to light up the main Budweiser sign, Budweiser uh, lettering, and then this lower one will then mount down there to light up the beer uh, portion of the sign. So that's kind of about where they're going to be. Um, we're going to use some double-sided tape uh, to get those placed and have those sit on the back of that uh, back panel. So we'll get some tape lined out here. Let's just put this sign on and see if that's about where they need to be to light that up. We might need to move it down just a tad on that top one. So that might need to go right in there, I'm thinking to get coverage of the sign itself. So that looks about good. So let's get some double-sided tape cut. Get these off of here. So I'm using this uh, double-sided that's a Gorilla brand, and that's what we're gonna use today. Okay, we got those in place. Again, we just want to check and make sure that we're going to be covered. Looks pretty good. So we'll start by peeling off that tape for the bottom LED portion. And I'm using two different types of tape here. Now this one here already comes in its channel, so it has a diffuser on it, so you don't necessarily see the LEDs. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this little strip here where you can see the LEDs, but I have a little channel that it's gonna mount in, and then I'm gonna mount a diffuser over the top of it so it looks very similar to this channel that we're using here.